Hello, I'm Peter Sellers. I'm working at the Lyric Opera of Chicago, where I'm directing Handel's Hercules. Its roots, its origins, are a play written 2,500 years ago by Sophocles in the first recorded democracy on Earth in Athens. Sophocles was, unlike most playwrights, actually a general. And so he could write about coming home from a war. The play is very intense. It's about Hercules coming back from his years of labor and a protracted war which has leveled a civilization. And he's brought back with him prisoners of war, one in particular he's interested in. The moral questions are very intense, but also the question of the war following you home. That the war not only changes you, but while you were gone, the place you were fighting for is also changed. And the values you were fighting for have to be rediscovered. Of course, we know in America now the intensity, the difficulty, the complexity of military families reuniting after multiple deployments. And we know right now that these complexities begin to have names like post-traumatic stress syndrome. It's not about good and bad people. It's about being human and what these experiences do to all of us on all sides. The U.S. military is becoming quite sophisticated about understanding that to take care of soldiers, they have to take care of soldiers' families. That to have an effective fighting force, in fact, one of the most difficult battles for many military families is peace. And people need support during protracted separations and also during sometimes traumatic and intense and complicated reunions. The amazing thing is that Sophocles, writing in the fifth century BC, made a play that deals directly with those traumas. Enable, doing it here in Chicago now enables us to look at these issues again in a larger and deeper context of America's growing awareness of what we're all facing with returning veterans and the way in which they're asking our society to reach out and rediscover its own values. What's very exciting is this opera at Lyric is a thrilling, emotionally intense, wild experience. It will provoke people's thoughts Many people will recognize life experiences that they've been through and maybe didn't previously have words for. And suddenly there they are in front of you with music that is captivating and powerful. But also that makes you want to discuss what this is, to actually put your feelings into words. And so what's very exciting is we're going to create a symposium around the production. We're inviting people to come to the dress rehearsal of the opera and then immediately after gather with people to do something that we all need to do as Americans is talk about these things in a safe zone, which is what culture and art creates. A zone where it's nobody's fault, nobody is exposed, but actually we can all speak from our hearts and speak things that are really difficult to talk about. And if you're going to talk about them, you want to talk about them with people who have experience and wisdom. We're going to be talking with Jack Fuller, the Pulitzer Prize winning reporter and former managing director of the Chicago Tribune, who covered so deeply and extensively Vietnam veterans. We also have John Cassiopo, who is the head of the University of Chicago Center for Cognitive and Social Neuroscience, which is quite a title. But in fact, he has been commissioned by the Department of Defense to conduct an extraordinary research project dealing with returning veterans and the multiple syndromes 
emotionally that they are experiencing. And the panel will be moderated uh, by the extraordinary Julia Keller. Julia Keller is a cultural critic for the Tribune and has authored a novel which is about a very intense, overwhelming homecoming. We will do a live webcast and please be with us. And then um, for people who are not available at that time, two days later, the entire conference will be up online. I think it will be a very beautiful occasion and a rather deep occasion where the emotion and the wisdom and the experience can flow into a place that most of us don't know how to approach. And I think it will be a really fulfilling occasion where music and poetry and drama meet science, social work, reportage, observation, and personal testimony to uh, create a moment where together we can all move forward.